to sales at a time when it was a very very unusual thing uh, for a girl to come into hardcore sales and uh, during the course of my uh, my career which is 32 year long uh, we changed i changed fields twice so from from hardcore sales to techno sales to uh, to the gm of a company to the md of a company so you know there were many milestones and i learned from all of them i started to work with the afa network and uh, i was their program architect for the northern areas uh, you know the gilgit and chitral and, and those areas their self help projects so i was looking after their schools and health centers i worked with them for about 3 and a half years so that was a period of immense growth i would say in my Uh, in my professional life, because I learned the, the importance of research and uh, R and D, as it's called, the research and development aspect in architecture, and how each project should be approached uh, with with uh, on its merit and researched thoroughly before it's undertaken. It should not be undertaken in a rush. Yeah, so that was very important as well. Bismillah uh, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. To begin with, I would say that um, I began my professional career in 1981 after qualifying for civil services examination. And initially, I was allocated Foreign Service of Pakistan. But due to the government policy at that time, I was, uh, you know, given another option to uh, work for Income Tax Department. So I was I was allocated, reallocated Income Tax Department by the President of Pakistan. And this was the first challenge that I faced in my professional life. all my professional career because i wanted to be a diplomat and uh, uh, i don't know by stroke of luck or fate i landed in income tax and the culmination of my uh, career uh, success was when i was promoted to grade 22 in 2015 this is a selection grade and not all the officers who come for css and who qualify they make it to this level but fortunately i was one of the few who uh, who achieved this level um i think education plays a very key role which is what brought me into the field of education um while handling a legal career in the first place i think that uh, the education that i got degrees from uh, nyu lse kings and a fellowship from cambridge have added a lot to who i am today that gave me the skills that i needed to set up my own law firm and it was my own divorce that showed me what an educated woman even in the legal field has to deal with if she wants to exercise any of the rights that the law has given her which brought me to creating the law firm that I have which is a 24 hour law firm which is available to mostly women and children and they we have a 24 hour helpline that they can call in and get our services at any given point in time Thank you.